What if you had a billion dollars just lying around? The federal government does. It is in presidential dollar coins, and they're from a congressional program that never took hold. Now lawmakers are trying to undo what they started. Lizzie O'Leary reports. For coins nobody wants, they're heavily guarded. Deep in a basement vault in the Federal Reserve in Baltimore, through an airlock behind steel cages. Washington, Lincoln, millions in presidential dollar coins. Six years ago, Congress thought they might replace dollar bills. Sure, they cost more to make, about $720 million so far, but they're more durable and could stick around for years. But they never caught on with Americans. The law didn't take dollar notes away, and now the Fed says some 40 percent, that's $1.2 billion worth of coins, is just sitting around. Oh, and they've only just finished Rutherford B. Hayes. 24 presidents left to mint. It's not just presidential coins sitting in the vaults. The law mandated that for every three presidents minted, there had to be one gold Sacagawea coin as well, and they're mixed in with all of the nation's former leaders. Sacagawea was his idea back when he represented North Dakota. Sacagawea, this is a beautiful coin. People didn't use it, didn't like it. Putting old presidents on there doesn't matter. He now agrees with the congresswoman trying to kill the whole thing. We've done it. That's what experiments are all about, and it's failed. And God help us if we can't, you know, get rid of something that has failed, but we tend to not be able to do that around here. With all the wrangling over the debt, Speer doesn't know when her bill might get a vote, but if it passes, it could maybe trim a billion dollars from Washington's bottom line. Lizzie O'Leary, Bloomberg, Baltimore.